We finally managed to get some filming done in between the rain here at Stowhill Wharf and we'd like to introduce Tilly Rose. She is a 57 foot 4 inch traditional stern narrowboat with a rather unusual reverse layout. She was built in 2002 by King's Ground Narrowboats on a GJ Reeves hull. She was actually commissioned by a nuclear submarine captain who had a couple of dogs and wanted easy access in and off the trad stern deck, so that's why it's reverse layout. Paintwork is in really good condition, nicely polished. It was actually fully repainted in August 2020. You can, as you can see, it's still in an incredibly good condition. She was last blacked in spring 2020, 2022 even, and there was a full survey in September 2021, which is available for viewing in the office. Lovely sign writing there. And there was the roses on the side hatch as well. So we get onto the back as it is reverse layout. We've got the engine room first. There's a view from the helm. We'll have a look back at that engine bay on the way back out, but for now just have a look in here. There is the Victron 1.3 kilowatt inverter charger, all of the regular canal memorabilia, a couple of shelves and a little storage cupboard. Before we go into the galley, the galley is 8 foot 8, head height on board is 6 foot 5 and the lighting is a mix of halogen and LED. Laminate worktops, hardwood edge, stainless steel sink. There is a lot of storage on this boat. I know I've said that for the last few videos, but there really, really is a lot of storage. Beautifully finished insides of the cupboards as well. She's fitted out in oak face ply with oak and sapili trim throughout the boat. So you've got some really nice woodwork. Plenty of cupboard space. Wine rack, I did say that on the last boat, but excellent wine rack space, you can fit 12 bottles there. The captain knew what he was doing. Space for your cups and plates. On the other side here we've got a 12 volt shoreline fridge with an ice box, and that is a Vanet 4002 four burner gas hob and Vanet GG 7000 or 6000 oven and grill, sorry. Goodman's microwave and plenty more storage. You've got two of these sliding windows at the back. There are two bus style drop down opening hoppers and there are six opening portholes and the side hatch. Dinette here, the dinette is six foot three. It converts to a spare double and can convert to two singles as well. It could also seat six by converting it into the singles crossways over to the corridor. You can fit extra people. Look at the inlay in that. Beautiful. Storage under both seats, obviously. And into the saloon. Saloon is 10 foot 9. Two of these captain's chairs. That is a Villager Puffin solid fuel stove. There is a 240 volt Toshiba 24 inch TV, storage under. There's an antenna on the roof, but it needs a new signal receiver box in that cupboard um, in order to connect to the TV, or there is a little one that just pokes out the window that's currently connected up. Shelves there. And then we go into the bathroom. Bathroom six foot three. Ceramic sink recessed into the solid wood worktop vanity cupboard, a couple of shelves over and a nice sized cupboard underneath. The water pump's under there. So Jabsco pump out loo and there is a 400 litre waste holding tank. Cupboard next to the shower. It's a square shower with a tiled surround and an acrylic door. And then we go into the bedroom. Bedroom's in the front of the boat, it's eight foot three. Storage under the bed. The bed is currently set up as a six foot by four foot double berth and it extends like that to four foot six. Nice and easy just to pull that out and put the inlay in. Got a cupboard over, there's a couple of reading lights embedded underneath that cupboard as well. 
shelves at this end and then you've got the single wardrobe. Plenty of space. As I said, there's, there's storage everywhere. So you've got storage in here. You've got the uh, ropes and fenders and bits and pieces in there. Oh, can't do that single-handedly. There we are. That's a bit better. And then you've got your own little balcony out here in the well deck. The well deck is four foot five. There are lockers either side. And there is also access to the Vetus 75 kdf bow thruster, which was new in 2022. Life ring there with your two propane bottles in the forward locker. Glazed forward doors and glazed cratch board. And back in we go. So she's centrally heated by a Wabasto diesel fired boiler, which was installed last year, brand new, 2022. That's connected to three radiators and the towel rail. Hot water is heated by the Wabasto, the engine and the immersion. 12 volt power is via four 100 amp hour domestics with a separate starter and separate bow thruster supply. Your 240 volt power is from the Victron inverter and there is also a landline hookup. She's insulated with spray foam as well, so nice and toasty in winter. Bit more storage here that I forgot to show on the way through. Some paints and things and some more, more in equipment. There are also some brand new child's life jackets under the dinette. Engines here. The engine is a Beta 35 BV1505. Your batteries are in here as well. It's a PRM150 gearbox and there is an integral 280 litre fuel tank. Water is a stainless steel 660 litre fresh water tank and I've mentioned your waste tank already. So there we have it, that's Tilly Rose. For further information, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, visit our website at rugbyboats.co.uk.